is the only way we could have ended, isn't it? This is your choice, James. All you gotta worry about is when you run out of booze, when you run out of company. And the only person there to judge you is yourself. In season three of Boardwalk Empire, we jump ahead in time to 1923. Thematically, we think of season three as the night before the morning after. It's basically the big party before the hangover. People still haven't confronted their actions from season two. The physical act of Nucky killing Jimmy probably pales in comparison to the psychological impact it will have on Nucky at some point. I mean, basically, Jimmy was his surrogate son. Having lived with Nucky Thompson for several years has caused Margaret to develop a tough skin, and I think we will see her come into her own during season three. Jillian is now raising Tommy Darmody, who's Jimmy's son, as her own. Richard Harrow is living there as well as a caretaker, somebody to look out for his friend's child. We continue to track the rise of Al Capone. He's still working for Johnny Torrio, although he's moving up in the world. In New York, we also track the rise of Luciano and Lansky. Nucky and Rothstein come to have a mutual enemy, a gangster named Gip Rossetti, portrayed by Bobby Cannavale. Gip Rossetti ultimately becomes a major thorn in Nucky's side. Please. Things have changed in the world, in the world of bootlegging. It's a much more violent world, a much more competitive world. All of these things converge, and it ultimately culminates in a really, really exciting season.